Positive Mental Attitude, The Science of Success by Napoleon Hill Introduction The PMA Science of Success Course Napoleon Hill's work has touched the lives of countless thousands through his lectures, teachings, and prolific writings. His internationally known books, Think and Grow Rich and The Law of Success, have become the standards of motivational literature against which all others are measured. To make available in perpetuity the success principles he spent a lifetime identifying and sharing with others, on August 21, 1962, Dr. Hill and his wife, Annie Liu, founded the Napoleon Hill Foundation, a not-for-profit corporation. The Foundation's sole purpose is to continue to spread his philosophy of success through the cooperation and support of others rather than at their expense. The 17 principles of success he quantified in his writings and lectures aid not only the individual who practices them, but all those with whom he comes in contact as well. These principles, along with his lifelong published works and yet unpublished manuscripts, recordings, and courses, compromise the legacy Dr. Hill endowed the Foundation. Dr. Hill enjoyed close friendships with many of the turn-of-the-century business leaders who played a significant role in shaping the destiny of America and the world. Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Harvey Firestone, Theodore Roosevelt, and Alexander Graham Bell were but a few who freely shared the secrets of how they attained their success with Dr. Hill. Andrew Carnegie so strongly believed in the universal principles of success that he sponsored the research and writing that became the first authoritative treatise on the subject, The Personal Success Philosophy of Achievement by Napoleon Hill. To carry on the rich legacy Dr. Hill left, the Foundation has decided to re-release his personalized course for individual study, the PMA Science of Success course. This practical self-study program will help you thoroughly understand and apply the 17 principles of success in your own life to achieve any goal, however ambitious. Lesson 1. Definiteness of Purpose Definiteness of purpose is the starting point of all achievement. Remember this statement because you will hear a lot about it before you are through with this lesson and this course. Definiteness of purpose is the starting point of all achievement, and it is the stumbling block of 98 out of every 100 persons, because they never really define their goals and start toward them with definiteness of purpose. Think of it. 98% of the people in the world are drifting aimlessly through life without the slightest idea of the work for which they are best fitted, and with no conception whatsoever even of the need for such a thing as, definite, as a definite objective toward which to strive. This is one of the tragedies of civilization. It was Andrew Carnegie's recognition of this tragedy that inspired him to influence some 500 great American leaders of industry and business to collaborate in the organization of this philosophy of individual achievement. You may be surprised to learn that of the more than 35,000 persons who studied this philosophy, only two out of every 100 had anything even remotely akin to definiteness of purpose, and that 2% are the ones who are succeeding. Among that 2% are men such as Henry Ford, Henry J. Kaiser, Frank Vanderlip, Earl Nightingale, and Lee Braxton. They are the people who did not settle for life with any th for anything short of what they wanted. As a student, will you resolve that from this day forward you will not settle with life for anything short of what you want? Will you do that? These are not just idle words. That definiteness of purpose is the starting point of achievement has been the observation of thinking people over the centuries. It has been proved many times that if a person is really determined to get a thing, he can get it. 
if you have the ambition to start making life pay off on your own terms, this course can stimulate your thinking and awaken your desire for definiteness of purpose. At this point, let's discuss ideas. Ideas begin as the result of definiteness of purpose. Did you know that ideas are what make the world go round? Ideas are the only assets with ha which have no fixed values. Men of all ages and in all parts of the world have recognized ideas as of prime importance. There is an old oriental proverb which puts it this way. If you would plant for days, plant flowers. If you would plant for years, plant trees. If you would plant for eternity, plant ideas. Ah yes, indeed, ideas. This course has been organized for the purpose of inducing a flow of ideas through your mind. It is intended to introduce you to your other self, the self which has a vision of your innate spiritual powers and will not accept or recognize failure, and to arouse your determination to go forth and claim that which is rightfully yours. The material in these lessons comes from practical businessmen who acquired it the hard way by the trial and error method. These men lifted themselves in many cases from dire poverty to high estates and adequate fortunes through its application. A Valuable Secret Here is a valuable secret that you should know. The most important part of this lesson is not written on these pages, but is already in your own mind. You can learn how to harness the stupendous potential power of your own mind and how to organize the knowledge you already have and turn it into the power necessary for the attainment of your major purpose in life. From the thoughts expressed in these lessons, your mind, if you are ready, will grasp an idea that may well mark the turning point in your entire life. Somewhere in these lessons you will find yourself, that other self, which will throw off the chains of all the limitations which have bound you. It will reveal to you the great genius of power asleep in your own mind, which needs only some outside stimulus to awaken it. This course is designed for the purpose of supplying that awakening force. It will come in the form of an idea that you will pick up as you read and think. The immortal Ralph Waldo Emerson, considered by many to be the greatest thinker America has ever produced, expressed his estimate of an idea thus. One single idea may have greater weight than the labor of all the men animals and engines for a century. Let us examine a few of the outstanding achievements of mankind and see how ideas backed with definiteness of purpose have changed this world of ours. This completes this section. If you would like to purchase the ebook from Amazon, please click on the link at the top of the description below.